What's up, Teague? So here's what I got. Um, I started finding some honeycomb on the ground. And the tree that I just started this video clip with, uh, right here, I'm gonna guess it probably came out of there. And here's my evidence. Uh, here. So, as you can see, it's kind of scattered around, and what actually led me to believe it came from this tree is the fact that, um, and hopefully this is uh, part of the tree, not something an animal left. Looks like it's attached to this, which, yep, some, some old rotted bark, apparently. And a better view, there we go. And here's some more, actually. Nice piece here. Wow, it's quite a bit scattered all around the tree. Yep. Looks to be pretty old. Maybe an old abandoned beehive or something. I don't know. Check that out. Oh, we'll see how far back I can go. Alright. And as I said, it's kind of scattered randomly around the base of the tree. I don't see a big chunk. Some big tracks over here. Let's see what this is. Wow. Check this out. It could be a dog, but uh, I don't know if you can see that. So I'll put my hand. All right. So basically, clean it out some. Like some more claws or something. All right, whatever it is. Hopefully, uh, it's not anywhere around here right now. A nice view. A little marshy area. Yeah. Might as well show you. Uh, so on some of these trees, finding some pheasant backs, not much, I mostly like this size, you know, but those are good, a lot of, the, a lot of people like them that small, ideally, and probably after the next rain I will, but ideally you want to see, see that, uh, oh yeah, and the pores should be really tiny, Shouldn't be able to see them. We can't too much. So this is Polyporus squamosa. The pheasant back mushroom. Somewhere in the woods. In Vermont. With me. Stevie Van Zandt. Eh, back to what I was doing. I'll see you in class Monday.